hey, I wanted to give you a quick tour of the Seismic desktop uh, because they've made some changes and I really wanted to point those out because there's some pretty big changes. The first and biggest change that they've just made is the ability to bring in your friends uh, from Facebook and that shows up as a separate column like it does over here and on that separate column what happens is anytime there is an update uh, very simply it shows up on my wall now given that what I can do uh, here's Richard Smith he has a new link it looks like he's done a blog post or something or he's sharing an article and what I can do is I can very simply click on this and say you know what I like this it does not allow me to comment yet. They're working on that, I hear. But it does allow me to just say, you know what? I like this. Now, if I did want to comment, all I got to do is click on Richard Smith's name, and it's going to bring me over to his profile. And at that point, then I can actually leave a comment. Here, we'll bring up Facebook. So here's what he just wrote. And I can actually see it already says, I like it. And what I can do is I can actually leave a comment right here. So it isn't, I can't do everything from the desktop, but at least I can like things from there. Uh, the other thing that I can do on there is I can turn around and I can add somebody to a user group. Uh, so right now, all, uh, I don't know, 2,000 of my friends on Facebook show up on this wall, and that wall is going to move very quickly. So what I've done is, here's Mike Mueller at Twitter. And what I've done is I've created what's called uh, a user group for me, but it's called uh, Slow Stream. And that is something that I've put a hundred of my favorite people in there so that I make sure that I am, they're not flying by in the mass of other people that I'm trying to connect to. And so really those people are very important to me and I want to make sure that I am able to connect with them. And how do I add them? Well, very easily. All I have to do is just click on anybody, uh, whether it shows up in replies or private or Twitter or what have you, and I can click on this little star and say, I want to add them to a user list. And it's going to bring it up, and I can create as many different groups as I want or user list. And all I got to do is just click on that, and he is now going to be in my slow stream. Oh, by the way, how do you bring in Facebook? Very down bottom left hand side, you click on this little link and add your Facebook account. And it's going to ask you for your username and password, and it's going to ask you for permissions. And you say, yes, yes, yes. It doesn't send all of your tweets to Facebook, only the ones that you determine that you want. But what it does do is it brings in that column, and that's a pretty cool thing. So, hey, Seismic Desktop, absolutely wonderful. I recommend it. Great start and a great way to slow down that stream.